I support this ordinance, and here's why. Here's the cover of photo of Chicago skyline from the November 2008 issue of National Geographic magazine. For too long, the indiscriminate use of lights in the Chicagoland area has made it one of the most light-polluted regions of, in this country, not something we should be proud of. This pollution robs us of the beauty of the starlit night, something only our grandparents were able to witness in times past. Our younger generations will never know the wonders of our starlit sky. But besides the starry sky, there are other practical reasons for the elimination of light pollution. Every day we read of increasing scientific studies that point to nighttime light glare as being detrimental to our biological processes. And studies have shown it is negatively impacting our environment. We've always equated lights with safety, but many studies have shown that is not necessarily the case either. In fact, sometimes the opposite is true. The blinding glare of improper lighting can easily hide things from us and reduce our night vision while driving. Finally, all this indiscriminate lighting exacts a huge cost, money. It's not only the quality of light that is so costly, but also the type of lighting and the way it is aimed. Lights pointed up is lost energy. We shouldn't be wasting our taxpayer dollars with squandered lighting. Nobody's saying to try to get rid of all lighting, but organizations like the International Dark Sky Association, the IDA, show that reduced lighting, proper aiming of lighting, and energy efficient lights can go a long way to solving these problems. There also should be ordinances restricting the type of garish billboards, commercial signs, and parking lots that produce this glowing bubble around us. Just the minimal amount of light should be used for their visibility. One minute. We have an opportunity to follow the lead of other forward-thinking communities around the United States. So I ask you to please pass this ordinance.